Well, it is December and all of the stuff you could ask for for Christmas is too damn expensive. It's $400 for an Apple Watch, 700 or whatever for the iPhone you're going to need for the Apple Watch. Cars can be 300 grand. I say treat yourself. And yeah, I said Christmas also. Got my tree up, I haven't decorated, but at least it's enough to show the world I'm not Jewish. Oh yeah, I looked past Final Fantasy 15 because Conan O'Brien shot that down with Clueless Gamer. I'm looking past Dead Rising 4 because of the barbed wire baseball bat that tells me they want you to think of The Walking Dead's Negan. And I know some of you are gonna want a review of Super Mario Maker for the Nintendo 3DS, so I went out and got it. How do you know? Got a sticker from GameStop and an actual physical copy. Born Jog Vlog. Super Mario Maker for the Nintendo 3DS is a platform sandbox title. You're playing Mario. So, well, Super Mario Brothers, Super Mario Bros. 3, Super Mario World, and Super Mario... New Super Mario Wii U, uh, LBGTQ, RTSCV, whatever they call that. You're playing these styles. Not necessarily whole levels, but you make your own. Yeah, you can actually make your own Super Mario World levels on a handheld. I would say first time ever. That would be a statement that belongs to the Nintendo Wii U's version, which this game doesn't want you to forget exists. Now the new Super Mario Bros. Wii U, whatever the hell they call that, that version looks a little bad. Yeah, it's Polygon Mario don't really equate too well with the confines of the 3DS screen and hardware limitations. However, SMB, SMB3, and Super Mario World look perfectly rad on the system, and I think you're going to enjoy playing them. Now, making your own stages is fun and intuitive, and there's a whole lot of options. Help you get from this tech support Mary and a pigeon. I'm not really sure what the deal is with that, but it's fun presentational elements. Strikes is very Nintendo. But what do you have to do to share that? Well, you got Street Pass, or you can hand it off to somebody if you got friends in real life, which I don't. So I haven't. Now if you run across somebody with Street Pass Activate, you can send and share your levels to them. Does that mean their level's good? I don't know. Can you rate their level? No, you cannot. What levels can you download online? Because yeah, there is some online support. Well, you can download Wii U version levels that seem to be broken. And other people have rated high because they can't complete, so they say they're hard when they're just sadistic. And that's all they are. They're just broken ass sadistic. Nintendo Wii U stuff, you're trying to cram over here with some kind of different limitations on the 3DS and it ain't quite playable. Oh, but online you see videos of people playing against this Mecha Bowzilla. Oh, how do you do that? Well, you can't actually type in a specific map. I keep saying map, I should be saying stages. You can't do that. It's just what you got. Download a group and it's like, okay, updating the list. Okay, well, my soreness by anything? Oh, difficulty. Difficulty, that's what we're sort of by. How about the people who designed them were assholes and made them so that they can't be beaten? And that's that's how we're sorting the difficulty, sure. Now there's puzzle stages that do uh, bend your mind around a bit, and they're, they're enjoyable and all this, but then some of it's just like impossible jump after impossible jump, or near impossible jump after near impossible jump. Why do I have to make two of them in a row just to progress through this stage? You know, it's just little things like that that kind of get to you. Now built into the game, there's like 80 or so levels of actual Nintendo, we went out of our way and built some new levels kind of levels that show you the mechanics of the game and how each of the different, be it SMB or SMB3 or New Super Mario or Wii U, whatever they call that, how Mario has a little bit of different controls, uh, like maybe he can spin, jump, and crush stuff, or bounce off walls. All these mechanics play a little bit different between the titles. And it's a bit of a tutorial in, in a sense. That's fun. You know, maybe you'll do that on the road, because otherwise you need to be online just to download from the list of the stuff to play. And even then, I'm seeing the same things. You know, I'm re refreshing the list, I'm just seeing the same stuff. It's like, oh. So everybody just rated everything they couldn't beat as an expert. Is that really how it works when it should be broken and not beatable in the first place? You know, what's with that, guys? How come on the Wii U you can say, hey, play my stage. I'm going to send it out here. Here's the code. You guys download it. Here's your Mecha Bowzilla, all this stuff. But here it's like, no, you get to watch that shit on YouTube. You, you play what we tell you to play here. You can't make your stage and put it up there for somebody to rate share around for it to go viral none of this so what's the fun in making your stage if no one can play it that is what I ask you guys this is already saying version 1.02 there's downloads there's updates 
I've had stuff patched over to my SD card, which I thought was strange for a 3DS title. It's it's weird. Does that mean that in this age of DLC and patches that Nintendo can wise up and give us the support that the Wii U had so that this doesn't feel like the Apple Watch to the Wii U version's iPhone? Like, you, you need this one, and then this one you can kind of play on the go. Oh, but you don't get all the features. You're going to, have, you're going to really want this one. You just kind of tweak your stuff on here. Is this going to feel like a standalone game soon? You know, I can speculate, but I can't review speculation. I have to review the game as is. And as is, it's fun to play Super Mario Maker on the Nintendo 3DS. It's fun to create on it. The social aspect's missing. Sure as hell is. I like Street Pass. I think there could have been better ways to do that. Maybe challenges for how to uh, beat maps in some way. I mean, yeah, sure, maybe you can send stuff through Street Pass and download at your free will, you know, and type things in, type in the codes to download new stages. Maybe you could have had both. I don't see why not. Nintendo, I feel like you kind of dropped the ball here. I don't feel ripped off at $40, but I feel like I got a little bit of something incomplete here. You know, this could have been your killer app on the Wii U if it was a launch title. And now you're late to the 3DS also. I give Super Mario Maker for the Nintendo 3DS an 8.5 out of 10. Like, comment, share, follow, subscribe. Von Jog Vlog is made possible by your support on Patreon. Patreon.com forward slash Von Fry.